All right, how's it going? We are back with another video. This time, a D7F multi shank ripper. Now, if I was smart, I would have shown you guys how I took this all apart. But unfortunately, I'm kind of dumb, so I didn't do that. I started taking it apart and was like, oh, this will make a good video for you guys, and I can show you how we're going to go ahead and repair this thing for our customer. So this came in, and all of the pinholes, or most of them, were extremely loose. The pins have a bunch of wear in them. Over here, these are the bushings, and they're completely wallered out. So this whole ripper assembly needs to be line board, which I do have that tool. Unfortunately, my guy that can use that tool is down in Northern Nevada. So we're gonna go ahead and call in one of my really good buddies to go ahead and get that repaired for us. Another part that I wanted to show you is right in here in the shop. All right, so in here is the main ripper beam for that D7. And when we got it in, we noticed that, let's see over here, these guys started cracking out real good. So what we're doing now is cutting these out one by one. It looks like we can save a couple of them. This one was totally unsavable. We're cutting them out and then re-welding brand new in. And we're taking some of this half inch plate, cutting out our template and then welding it back into the ripper. So when our guys get back off lunch, I'll show you, I'll show you guys how we are putting that back together. So luck would have it, I do have more than one D7F or G ripper here in the shop. So this is what it looks like complete. Well, mostly complete. It's missing the mounting, mounting mounts, mounting mounts right there, which those are sitting right there and right there, which I can show you guys those up a little bit closer. But here's what it looks like all in one piece. And what we are fixing is down inside of there, all those gussets we're gonna go ahead and fix and we're gonna go ahead and bore this hole and this hole as well as the beam itself to go and make sure our customer gets a real nice product when we're done with it. But yeah, there it is, a complete Caterpillar D7F ripper and there's one in pieces over there. So I'm gonna quit blabbering and once my guys get back, we'll show you how we're gonna go ahead and repair those gussets. Well, we just got a care package in the mail. The boys over at Yankum Ropes uh -oh. hooked it up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what I call a recovery rope Dude, right there. Look at that stop tackle. <laughs> look at that stop tackle. <laughs> <laughs> look at that monstrosity. Do you think it'll pull a 24 off a trailer? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pull it out of the box. <laughs> That's an anaconda right there. All right, what are we dragging around today? So we gotta drag something. <laughs> we gotta drag something around. <laughs> Look at that. Back Man, the boys at Yank and hooking it up. The basilisk. Dude. What's the weight rating on it? 40,200 pounds. Oh. Well, wait, there's two ratings on that. And... What's What does MTS mean? Maximum tens tensile strength, maybe? Oh. 201,000 pounds. Look at that thing. That's what I call a recovery rope. Look at that shackle. There, the soft shackle sweet. What's dude? it weigh? Pound and a half, two pounds <laughs> of rope. Oh, oh wait, he threw something else in here too. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That. That's what I'm talking about. Aluminium? No, I think she's she's steel. No. Nice. Is it rated too? Yeah, 17 tons. That's awesome. We'll have to do some testing with that later. All right, so we're back in the shop. Everyone's back from lunch and a little bit of rope action. So what are you doing here? 
Uh, we are giving it a little bit of bevel to help penetration. It's, it's so thick here um, that you're gonna need a little extra help on the penetration there. So we'll go ahead and give it just a little bit of bevel there so I can fill it in in the weld. Get a deeper penetration too. Cool. Okay, we're gonna fill it right here. Now, is your plan gonna be to repair these ones too? Or do you think these can be, or do you, are we gonna cut out and start fresh or do you think these, these can be repaired? Well, I, I think this one here is going to be good. I think we'll be able to trim it up and clean it up. But this one I think we'll have to take out and get her repaired. She's got a big crack through it. So, okay, throw a new piece in here and do the same here. And one more over there. And uh, take down all of our bracing that we have to keep it from getting out of square. Okay. Um, and uh, do we paint oh, that's it. That's right. So I didn't mention this before. So you welded these bars here. So when you're re-welding that over there, correct, it, it doesn't... doesn't Try move. And twist or move or bend or anything. We want it to go back in the same spot so this pin lines in the same spot and everything. Yep. Oh, so now you're doing the other side. Yes, sir. Okay. It's a lot easier to do it out here. Got her all tacked in there? What's up, buddy? Oh, oh, you had your earbuds in. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh look at that. It's jamming out. Woohoo. Laying down some bees. I got a little locked up in the office. Oh, you're fine. But, uh, Heck yeah, look at that. No worries. Top's already done. I'll weld this side and then get it back up here and get the small one cut out. All right, burn that thing in. Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see what you got. All right. What's it got, stunt man? The beginner welder stuff. Hmm. All right, guys. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Burning her hot. She's hot. That looks good. Yeah, I don't want it coming off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I don't think you're gonna break it, though. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> yeah, that is way thicker than what they got over here. So you're gonna do, you gonna torch, uh, just torch that thing out of there? Yep, just do one more on this side real quick. Okay. Try and do it quick. I'm thinking uh, I might actually roll it on the side too to get the grinding done so I'm mm -hmm. not so vertical and stuff. Yeah. I think it'd just go faster with me sitting right here and just prying mm -hmm. on it. So I'm gonna hammer that thing out real quick and uh, see where else we can go. Sweet, heck yeah. Now, I know I didn't really show you guys the full process the first time, but now I'm back in the shop and we're gonna see the full process of him cutting this out and replacing it. So we're gonna cut which one? We're cutting this one out. We're gonna cut, cut that, cut that, new piece. Too much oxygen. <laughs> Kapowie. Nice, I flip her around? Yeah, flip the tip. 
I just gotta flip him 180 here. You can fix it. Oh, yeah. It's done. A little rowdy on that one. Yeah, she'll be all right. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll clean up. Cool. Sick, huh? Yeah, gotta it's love a magic. It makes guys' jobs way easier. Right around the end. Yep. Do it down a little bit. Right there. Yep. And I just wanted to hold it to help me out so she doesn't fall over on me when I'm playing with it. Mm-hmm. You want like a little two by four right there or something? Go around the front. Oh, I got you. That ain't going anywhere. Okay. Nope, nope, wait. That ain't going anywhere. That ain't going anywhere. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to grind this excess material off here and up there and just make that another new plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect fit. Everything's all ground down on both sides. Now you're gonna go do the same thing. You're gonna bevel both of those. Yep. And then give burn her, her in. Give her both bevel edges and burn her in. Sit some Sweet. flat stuff underneath the bottom to kind of hold it up in the right spot and uh, get yep. some tacks in it and it's ready to rip. Killer. All right, same thing. Bevel both sides. This side as well. And then we're gonna burn it right in. Should be way stronger. Had it. Cut our half moon out. Do whoopie do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, for the cylinder, huh? Yeah, it'll be easier to do while it's here. Yep. Got the nice straight tip on there this time. Yeah, straight tip. Not 
not bad. Oh, there's gotta be some compensation for running a six inch grinder all day. <laughs> My forearms are killing me. You did a good job. Uh, clean up with a grinder or something now? Yeah. yeah. Fits in there pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice fit. A little eyeball guesstimation. Go to center down. Nice oh, yeah. Can. Sitting flush with the bottom down there, pretty mm -hmm. close to it. Mm -hmm. All right, light her up. There we go. Yep. She ain't coming out now. Oh, hold on. Yoink. Burn it in, right? Now we're burning it in. This is the very last mount that we made right here. We're gonna go ahead and burn that in and call it a day. And let me know. So if you guys wanna see the line boring on this ripper, I will go ahead and film that too. So make sure, throw that down in the comments if you guys wanna see the video of that, of where we go and fix all of the bad holes in this thing. So anyway, throw that down there if you wanna see that. Don't go anywhere. Getting her burned in. All right, so here we are on the D7F or G Ripper. So this thing has been completely line board and ready to go. Phil, you got her all welded up. Yep. This one, you repaired these two over here. Yep. And I think I, we can show before in the video, these are how sloppy these were. The pins have a bunch of wear in them. Over here, these are the bushings and they're completely wallered out. So take that pin out and check this out. Okay, here's our new bores. Unfortunately, my line bore guy doesn't like being on film, so I couldn't film that, but here is the end of this. Fits in tight. And you cannot move it. It spins, but it does not move vertical or side to side at all. Customer's gonna be happy, you think? Absolutely, that's brand new. Yep. Well guys, there you have it. That's how you repair a bottom beam on a D7, or pretty much any cat ripper is kind of how this works. So thought I'd bring you guys along, show you how that works in this instance. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comment box. Or if you wanna see more stuff like 
that or like that or like that, I don't know. Subscribe to my channel or consider subscribing. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one.